Hello, this is Jim Reese at TSI Technical Sales International. I'm here to demonstrate for you the new Revit MEP 2011 API working with Micro Application Packages MAP. And what I'm going to demonstrate for you today is a presentation that was given at the AMCA BIM Forum in Australia, presented by Brian Gruel. And um, what we're going to present today is taking a Revit MEP 2011 file and pulling that into the BIM manufacturing software of Fab MEP. So you notice right here in the add-on, as a third-party developer of Autodesk for several years, we've been working with the Revit API for quite a few years. You'll note from my previous posts on the web. Go ahead and selecting the uh, mechanical equipment along with the design line elements. And what we're going to do is we're going to send that out in what we call a RIF file. And basically what we're doing is we are referencing that file inside of the fab product. And we're going to reconstruct those duct and pipe runs with the technology we call a design line. And we're basically referencing the size, the shape, and obviously the location of those components as it relates to the manufacturing software that is Fab MEP, which allows for estimating manufacturing and AutoCAD workflow. So what you'll notice right here, these are the options as we are referencing that data file coming out of Revit MEP. And as you go ahead and hit OK here, you'll see that the file then rebuilds the duct runs and pipe runs based on the manufacturing software built by MEP. Now, one of the things that we've done with the um, AMCA in creating their BIM MEP OZ package is we are uh, getting involved very heavily in the data content. We recently launched a website called building-data.net, and that information includes not only the dimensional information for the items inside of FAB, but also the, the costing information or estimating information, which you're seeing right here. So this duct component has the material cost, the fabrication cost, and also the installation cost of that component. We are also taking the same information and building the families that are required for the conversion in and out of Revit. So the AMCA has put together a very aggressive initiative in standardizing on the data content that's being used in Australia and what they're calling BIM MEP OZ data. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going ahead and selecting the fab components, which is the detailed components, and we're going to go ahead and uh, riff that out. And so let's go ahead and select that file and send it out. Go back into Revit MEP 2011. You see the background there. As you go back into the add-in and hit the in and select the RIF file. Through the mapping process, all the components in this dialog on the left-hand side here are the components that are coming from the FAB product. And uh, on the right-hand side, you have the family. So as we're managing the content through Manage Content, we're creating the file that comes from FAB and we're also creating the family that goes back into Revit. What that allows us to do then allows us to create a connected system inside of Revit and allows for the editing to take place of that family and the Revit file. So you notice here that the connectivity of the system is enabled. Just demonstrating here the connectivity between the mechanical and the supply and the return duct system. And as you go and look at the 3D view of this, you'll note that the Victolic, for example, these are the actual manufactured components from Victolic. Thank you very much. And if more information, you can contact www.tsi.com dash software
www.ghanaspeaks.com.au. Thank you.